Hey. Oh. It's like the perfect name, too. <laughs> uh, let's go. Dory or Lori. Let's just call her Dory. Yo, what's up, guys? It's early in the morning. Pretty tired. Uh, we're gonna do. It's Tuesday, day two. No, you're not. We're gonna be doing some uh, plyometrics today. Shut the fuck up. I don't know what Chris is doing. You don't like any more to do. Yeah, humping in here, bud. Humping more. I already did. I've done that actually, it's a good workout for your back. <laughs> Not that. No. <laughs> that. Oh, fuck. Oh, Lord, I don't know what I was just talking <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Lori. Good shit. Anyway, you guys are probably like, what the fuck are you guys laughing at? But uh, anyway, we're going to be doing some plyometrics. But first to start, we're going to do some abs. We're going to do an ab workout. Because we're kind of waiting for our good friend to get out of the room downstairs. Yeah. Lori. Good morning. <laughs> friend Lori. Good morning, guys. I'm here. She's a war she's a morning warrior. Yeah. She's a morning troll. Lori the warrior. Anyway, so we're gonna get started with some abs. Then we'll get some we'll get uh supply metrics in. It's mostly days of cardio day, it's gonna be sweating. So we're okay for time. We got an hour and a half, yeah, so hopefully as yeah. long as she gets out by the time the half hour is. Yeah, lots of time, dude. Alright. Let's go. Alright guys, so the first move I have for you for this ab routine. Uh, well, like I was saying, guys, a lot of it's from P90X, but anyway, it starts off like this. So you're going to be doing some in and outs here. We're going to be shooting for 25 reps. Uh, you know, you want to try to keep your back, you know, in a fixed position, a good posture, and just bringing the knees into your chest, controlling the motion. And then this one here, uh, it's kind of a double move. We're going to be doing some forward bicycle pedals, and we're going to be doing some 25 reps of these. And then right after you do 25 reps forward, you're going to go into reverse. So as you can see, I slow, I slow the... Uh, the camera down here the the video down so you guys can see if you're not coordinated enough to do that that's fine maybe just do another 25 forward pedals it's okay over time uh, i'm sure you'll get coordinated enough to be able to do it in reverse and then this one here it's a little bit of a uh more intensified version of our first move the in and outs but we're doing a crunch now with the with wrapping the arms around the knees as we're bringing it in towards the chest just a slightly intensified version of the first move and then this one here same thing you can intensify it if you'd like but these are the um wide leg or cross-legged sit-ups and as you can see here we're doing them with the wide leg it's a little bit easier but what you guys want to strive to do here is not let your heels come off the floor and you want to go straight up towards the ceiling with your arms uh, and then this is a uh, like i was saying slightly intensified version of it and this is the cross leg so you guys pretty much, you know, you won't have the weight of your legs to keep you grounded or keep you keep you down anyway. It's uh, this is just like I said, just a little bit more intensified. Chris still doing the wide leg version, which is fine. He's had his heels coming off a bit off the floor, but nonetheless, a lot better than the first couple times he's done this. And then this one here, guys, um, I hate this one personally. It's a tough one. These are scissors, and we're going to be doing 25 reps with holds. And uh, you want to try to straighten out your knees as much as possible. As you can see, I got a bit of a bend in my knee. Um, you know over time you want to strive to more or less straighten it more than what I'm doing but uh, not letting the heels touch the ground at all within this move and just doing like some little like two three second holds here guys and you want to go to 25 if you have to take a break that's fine personally these are really tough for myself uh, but over time guys like you, you want to strive to uh, shoot your heels up towards the ceiling as you see Chris taking a little bit of a break here but then he'll jump in and finish off as strong as he can um, you know, it definitely is a struggle. You're really gonna feel it in your lower abdomen. I find with these it's a total ab workout um, But nonetheless really working on that core strength Personally, I hate these <laughs> as you can see in my face. I'm struggling with these but uh, Yeah, so 25 if you guys can't get to it, it's fine um, You know, these are this is definitely like personally the toughest move out of this ab routine I find but uh, you know the more and more you do it, I find it gets easier, of course, and uh, as you get more flexible, you can really shoot to straighten out that leg. And then this one here, guys, um, this is called the oblique, actually, no, not oblique, what is this? Oh, yeah, hip rock and raise. We're going to be shooting for 25 reps. Um, as you guys can see, I'm really pushing my toes up towards the ceiling, not bringing it up too far past the, like, the chest or up to my face because that would not be the move. 
you really want to try to keep your your upper back flat on the flat on the mat you don't want to it's not a rolling move you guys don't want to roll into it uh, you can have your arms flat against the the floor here it'll help you keep uh, keep the form but sometimes I like to cross my arms and, and kind of place them on my chest just to intensify the move I find it just makes it a little bit that much harder anyway I'm um, really gonna feel these in your in your upper abdomen that's what I notice anyway when you get that little crunch at the top and uh, you want to try to keep your feet as well like kind of push together you don't want them to separate that's uh, that's what I tried to do anyway in this move really feeling it and then this one here is kind of similar to the hip rock and raise but this one is called the pulse up and once again I'm gonna be shooting for 25 reps you can have um, you can have your arms flat against the uh, against the mat here or you can um, or you can also bring them into your chest but what you really want to do is try to keep your legs in a fixed position you don't want to rock too much you want to keep them like in the same sort of position while you have them lifted in the air you really want to fight to 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 drive those heels towards the ceiling and uh, have as less motion as possible it's a really fixed move but really gonna feel as you can see Chris is really struggling but he's still pushing through collecting collecting himself uh, taking his time and then trying to push push strongly to finish it this one here guys is a is a is a combination move it's it's pretty hard this is the V up roll up uh, combination and each time you touch your toes or strive to, to to touch your shins whatever it's it's considered a rep so you want to do it 25 times so as you can see that's a one that's one rep there and then as I come up that's another rep so you want to shoot for 25 here uh, it's fine guys if you if once again if you have to collect yourself if you can't touch your toes do not worry just strive to you know reach for the shins reach for the ankles uh, you know nonetheless over time guys you as you work on your flexibility and your core strength you will be able to touch your toes um, but yeah really really strive oh yeah another important tip here is as you can see with my arms I'm not bringing them past my ears ever it's they're always you know they're always in um they're always in a fixed position more or less like they're not I'm not rocking at all it's it's a controlled move you know I'm not arching them back too much and uh, I'm not trying to gain any momentum by swinging my art my arms up towards my my feet <clears throat> so yeah it's a lot of it's a lot of moves guys it's a it's a tough workout but nonetheless guys it's a great ab routine it's really helped me with my core strength I know I say a lot in my videos like Chris is going to work and I'm going to do some core stuff and this is a lot of the stuff I do I do have other routines that I like to switch it up with um, but yeah anyway guys here we are for some oblique work here and these are the oblique v-ups we're gonna be doing 25 each side um, important note guys is drive you want to try to strive to drive your elbows towards your knees you're not letting your feet touch the ground or your shoulder well the shoulder kind of touches the ground but not much and uh, another thing too it might be uncomfortable if you're flat on your side you might feel it in your hip it's really it's really it's a really tough move but what you want to do is kind of sit on your hip and then roll your butt back so as you can see here I kind of roll my butt back and now I'm on my butt cheek and uh, stra and pushing for the elbow to touch the touch my thigh touch my knee um, you know that's fine you don't have to touch it if you guys can't but over time you will um, but yeah so as you can see Chris kind of struggling here but pushing through he's got these little uh, little pulse ups that he's doing as you can kind of see in the video I, I'm blocking the angle but still nonetheless feeling the move and uh, but yeah and, and then anyway guys moving on to our last move here we're gonna do some leg climbs and we're gonna be shooting for 12 reps each leg so I, you want to try to keep your um, like Chris has his, his leg flat on the ground which is fine but over time guys you want to the heart they'll make them move harder when you bring your your opposite foot closer uh, flat on like as you can see I got my foot flat on the ground I'm bringing it you can bring it closer to your butt and uh, that will make the move more intensified but if you have to leave it flat on the ground that's fine and you want to really strive to keep your you know, the one leg that you're reaching for in a fixed position and you want to keep it on that that uh, direct angle and as you can see I'm once again I'm not using my arms to swing up for momentum at all to uh, complete the move and it's definitely going to make it really intensified. Anyway, guys, this is, pro this is the last move I have for you for abs. We're going to be moving on here. All right, what's up, guys? So we finished our ab workout. Now we're down in the uh, multi-purpose room. So we're going to be doing some some cardio. We're going to do some plyometrics today. So it's uh, 
different uh, sort of work. It's more like high impact, high intensity workout, cardio workouts, a lot of jumping up and down, stuff like that. I don't encourage you guys to be trying some of it if you have knee issues, uh, cause it can be a lot on your knees. It's a lot of jumping up and down. But the, the point is, is to jump, try to jump high and land softly on your toes. You know, don't be, don't be just <clears throat> smashing the ground with your heels, landing. You know, the point is land softly anyways, and you'll feel it in your legs. You're gonna, it's gonna burn. It's gonna be, it's just an all around good cardio workout. You're gonna burn a lot of calories. So it's our first time doing it. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a shot. It's uh, more from like P90X program if you guys have ever uh, seen the P90X stuff. So <clears throat> we're gonna do that. It's a great workout. We're gonna get started. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're moving into the fun part. But before we do that, as always, we got to get our warm ups and stretches in. Uh, if you guys are gassed from the abs, that's fine. Get some water, get, get, catch your breath, and then we'll, we're going to be moving in here. But we're going to be warming up the legs now, focusing on, you know, our core is pretty warm after doing abs, but we really want to focus on, you know, warming up the legs. So we're doing some, some, uh, some lunges here, body weight lunges. Just we're doing some jogging in a spot there and doing some. Squat, uh, squat, reach, uh, squat reaches right here. Really like these. You're gonna wor uh, warm up your glutes, warm up your hamstrings. You know, pretty much everything. It's like a squat motion, right? So you're gonna be warming up everything, guys. Very important. You know, you don't want to be jumping into uh, a, a really intense cardio workout like plyometrics. There's a lot of jumping and and uh, moving side to side. It's a lot of quick little movements, little jerky movements. And you know, you don't and you don't want to uh, you don't want to you don't want to be doing that when you're icy cold. So you really want to stretch here. We're doing some, so we just warmed up. Now we're stretching and we're going to be doing some uh, hamstring stretches here. So uh, one leg, one, <laughs> sorry, one foot forward, the other one back, toe uh, pointed out a little bit just for balance, but really focusing on driving our hands or hands down to the floor. But like I said, guys, as you can see, Chris is touching his ankle, his shin, and then he touches the toe. You know, he's not pushing himself. He's just testing his body out, but you don't want to push yourself too much and pull anything. Just do what you can do. Uh, anyway, guys, on to our first move here, and this is the jump squat. It's kind of like a warm up. Still, 30, we're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds with little jumps, landing on our toes. And this one here is a run stance squat. We're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds. So you're gonna be doing three reps with a jump on the fourth one. So, or for each sequence. So as you can see, we did we did three, and then we jumped on the fourth one. And we're gonna be doing that for a total of 30 seconds. And then these here, you guys have seen these before. Love these, the side steps. We're gonna be doing these for 30 seconds, little holds, building up that calf strength, landing on the toe. You know, it's not a high impact move necessarily, but still nonetheless getting that work in. And then here, I love these. As you guys know, for warming up your hip flexors and everything like that, I love doing these swing kicks. I always do them before leg day. Uh, I personally have tight hips. So I really like, uh, you, I li I really like this move overall, but normally when we warm up with these, we do 30s, right? So this time around though, though we're gonna be doing 60. 60 seconds of these and then after you guys finish that you're gonna repeat these last four moves as I as I put there in the video we're gonna repeat the last four moves and then we're gonna jump into a second sequence here and this one is the squat reach jump so slightly intensified version of the first move and uh, we're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds but you know be careful with your knees here guys land on your toes concentrate on landing softly you know you don't want to be bouncing up and around and slamming on the ground as you can see Chris was modifying the move he he went right back to the squat uh, the squat and reach rather than the jump that which is fine as well still gonna feel the move and then this one here slightly intensified run stance squat switch pickup we're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds so instead of jumping on every three we're jumping on every single rep doing that for 30 seconds so intensified and then here uh, slightly intensified version of the of the side steps we're doing a double tire side step they're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds and then this one here guys love this stuff quick feet um, circle run and we're gonna be doing 30 seconds uh, clockwise and then another 30 seconds counterclockwise really gonna work on your foot movement here uh, gonna feel it in your calves use whatever you can to run around as you guys can see we're using water bottles you got a towel anything like that that's cool and then we're gonna repeat those last four moves as well and then we're gonna be moving on to our last sequence here this one's an intensified version once again of the first move which is a jump knee tuck we're gonna be doing this for 30 seconds so as you guys can see we're going at a pretty moderate pace and then we pick it up here for that extra calorie burn for the last 10 seconds so we went at a good pace for about 20 seconds and the last 10 we jumped as you see chris pushed through as hard as he could 
um, but you know and then he jumps back in there as you can see at the end there before the the, the slide moved in and then uh, this one here guys I love these these are Mary Catherine lunges be careful with your hamstrings here if uh, you feel a little bit of tightness and you know take your time with this move don't be bouncing around too much but uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice. You're gonna really work, feel it in your glutes and your hamstrings. As you guys can see, I'm doing a modified version here because I'm feeling a little bit of tightness as you can see from my facial expression. I was doing like a step move. Um, yeah, that particular day my hamstrings were tight. But this move here, guys, love these. Burns, these really, really burn by the time you get to this point, which is a leak frog squat. We're gonna be doing these for 30 seconds as well. Little jumps, landing on our toes, bending at the knees. Uh, really gonna feel it in your quadriceps just overall. It's just a good really good move and by the time you get to that point in the workout It's you're just burning uh, Then this here guys is a twist combination move So we got our feet stuck together as if they're tied together and we're gonna be pointing them three different directions uh, We're gonna do that for 30 seconds total because this whole move 60 so we're gonna do that for 30 and then for the The, the last 30 we're gonna go all, like in a 180 so moving from front to back and then when you're gonna repeat the last one move guys and then in this one particular when we repeat it you're just gonna switch which way you go for the 180 so as you can see we're turning from uh, we're turning to the left and then the second time around we'll turn to the right and as you can see this is a modified move I'm doing with a little sidestep if you guys uh, you know you're gassed anyway all right yo what's up guys so we just finished the plyometrics did the abs did the plyo well we didn't do all the plyo we did like a good 40 50 minutes of it but starting to run out of time here because got to get to work but still push yourself still got a good sweat going and uh you know definitely burn some calories which is the most important thing got the heart and lungs going how do you feel it felt pretty good, good man feel good ready to go to work you know my legs are all beat when you say you lost another what two pounds over the last little while yeah but it could be I think too guys like i burn a lot of water too oh yeah it could be water weight. but i'm probably burning honestly probably like three or four pounds a week yeah pretty easily yeah yeah well that's going like to... today when coming in i weighed 171 pounds oh okay yeah so and that's now a, lot we're done. a lot of water a lot sure. of water but then the thing is that tomorrow i'll probably come in i'll probably weigh 169 yeah yeah exactly you know what I mean? it'll just keep going down yeah. but uh, yeah it's a lot like of a half a pound almost every other yeah day. you can't really watch the scale too much yeah just... i don't care for the scale but just, i'm yeah. just doing it to make sure that i'm like healthy you know? no yeah for sure i'm not like losing, losing too much weight, weight too rapidly. fast yeah too much weight too fast losing too much weight but too it's fast, all legit man like i'm eating every day you know what i mean i'm eating like five times six times a day so it's not like i'm starving myself because i'm not mm -hmm. I'm just drinking a lot of water Small and just meals. keeping busy i'm not laying down in bed and doing nothing after a workout you know i'm going to work i'm working my ass off all day and then yeah you know go home make food and stuff and then i lay down you know probably like after a 14 hour day i finally lay down yeah so, after yeah. eating and shit. Yeah. Well, not right after, but yeah. But I get a good sleep. I get a good like nine hours sleep. For sure. Nine hours. All right, guys. Anyway, so you know, once again, push yourselves. Uh, tomorrow was day three of we. Uh, what were we on? Week four already. Yeah, shit. Week four. So this is the day 14th two. Fourteenth is going to be the first month. This is day two, week four. The so day. the fourteenth is the twelfth today. The fourteenth will be the first month of Everything. going pretty strong, uh, consistently. You know, like you said, we're doing six days a week, pretty much getting that extra day of cardio in. Today was mostly a cardio and ab day. Tomorrow we're gonna to be back here. It's gonna be day three, week four, and uh, we're probably gonna do, I don't know yet, we'll see. Um, either shoulders or biceps and tries, we'll see. Maybe but, a bit more uh, cardio? Yeah, maybe a bit more cardio. We'll and uh, I feel good after cardio, man. Oh yeah, cardio is the best. Anyway guys, so if you have questions, feel free to ask below. Also, uh, you know, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already, you know, follow the progress. We still got lots more coming. And uh, yeah, till next time, stay virtuous. Peace. Peace, guys. And they say it's impossible. Stay your, stay your course, young man. There's light at the end of the tunnel that you dig in. Angels carry you to land. Pass what you see, what you know, and where you're living. Stay your, stay your course, young man. There's light at the end of the tunnel that you dig in.